This video will be an introduction into what ORP or oxidization reduction potential is, why it's important, and how we're going to test for it. So to start off, we're going to test for the ORP. Uh, we need to get a reading, a baseline reading of the water coming out of our tap. This is going to be an important measurement that we use to kind of figure out the change in ORP that we're getting from the water ionizer. So. ORP, or oxidization reduction potential, is a measurement of a solution's ability to reduce oxidization. So an example of oxidization might be uh, rusting of metal, browning of an apple, uh, things like that. So there's a similar reaction that actually occurs in our body, and it's actually one of the main forces and causes of the aging process. So oxidize, oxidative stress comes from eating unhealthy foods, drinks, exercise, pollution, and many other places. So this oxidization creates what is called free radicals in our body, which attack, damage our cells all day, every day. So these free radicals are unbalanced, uh, but they can be neutralized by antioxidants. So antioxidants do this by donating their spare electron. So while most of us think of antioxidants as fruits and vegetables, there's actually antioxidants in our water as well. So this is where ORP comes into place. Uh, the more negative the ORP means that the solution is reducing oxidization in our body. Another way of saying this is that the solution is an antioxidant. So the more negative the ORP, the more strength the solution has to neutralize free radicals. So ORP is an important measurement of the strength, but there are also equally important measurements like PPM or PPB, aka parts per million, parts per billion, of molecular hydrogen, which is a measurement of the quantity of antioxidants in the water, but we'll get into that in a different video. So we see that this ORP is now, you know, well over 500 on its way kind of to 550. And this is going to be our, our baseline number that we use to kind of see the, the subtraction, the difference in the ORP change. But I mean, to get water over 500 coming out of your tap, it's just, it's absurd. It's really high. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test the 9.5 or aqua ionizer deluxe 9.5 machine you see we have it um, on our, our cooking setting which is going to be our you know most powerful setting uh, you can use that that setting or our high antioxidant setting are kind of the ones uh, they're going to produce the most negative rp because they're using the most power and instantly you see kind of when the um, probe is, is put in there you'll see that little negative sign in the front it immediately goes to a, a negative you know 480 in that range and it's going to take a little bit of time to even out uh, but just the difference between that you know, 550 and then the 470 that's going to be your difference in the ORP reading. It's going to put us at just over a uh, thousand ORP change so you know a negative 1000 it's going to be your, your ORP change so I would say this is a, um, because this water is extremely oxidizing to start, a little bit higher reading than normal, but just kind of goes to show you kind of how the machine works and that reading works. So now we're going to test out our uh, 7.0, kind of our entry level machine, uh, one of our more popular machines, one we've had for, for a while, tried and true. And uh, same sort of thing happens here. You see that once it's inserted into the probe is into the, in the water, that the, you know, negative ORP kind of immediately comes on board that minus 420 range. Uh, so not quite as strong or as powerful as our Aqua Ionizer Deluxe 9.5, but you know, coming from that same 550 tap water, um, still a very, very strong negative ORP and, and reduction in oxidization change. So meaning that this water is an extremely strong antioxidant. So that's really what you're looking for when you're testing the ORP is that change and um, you know that gets you that high quality healthy water. Hope this helps.